When it comes to the world of modeling, I am the star. Just kidding. Everything looks so glamorous, right? Well, our next guest is here to show us exactly why a picture is worth a thousand words. Watch this. I'm a magician and a contortionist. The first thing everyone does when they find out that I'm a hand model is they grab my hand and wanna see it. Most people just don't realize that it's so much more than just having a beautiful hand. It's how well you can move it, how well you can manipulate products, and how well you can hit your mark over and over and over in really uncomfortable positions. Do you have what it takes to be a professional hand model? Oh, that is a really good hand. She's been in the industry for <laughs> over 20 years. She is here to share some insider secrets. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand yes. to the show professional hand model, Ashley Cummins. Oh, hi. hi, Ashley. So, Ashley, you've been hand modeling for some time now. How exactly did you get discovered? And I'm just going to throw this in here because I was once asked to be a foot model. Ooh. And it, I just want to be very clear about how you got discovered because I'm like a size 10 and a half and my feet should not be shown anywhere. <laughs> so I want you to give people warnings of what is a legit discovery versus what is something else. <laughs> I hear that. There are a lot of um, interesting people out there in the world who are looking for things. But believe me, the last thing I ever thought I would be doing for the majority of my adult life is hand modeling. I was a child actor who became a theater major in college, and I was just trying to get headshots taken when an acting agent discovered my hands. She said, you've got to go get a manicure. And I said, oh, no, thanks. I'm a nail biter. I've never had a manicure. And she said, all that changes today. And I said, I'm here about head shots. And she said, oh, no, forget your head. It is all about your hands. <laughs> forget your head. <laughs> I, I didn't even know it existed before I started. <laughs> wow. So talk us through what a typical hand model shoot is like, because I'm curious as well. And did you ever see the Seinfeld episode where George becomes a hand model? <laughs> Absolutely. I love that episode. <laughs> that is Zoolander. Those are like oh, two yes, of the best Zoolander. examples of hand. All right, yeah, good. You, you got the hand reference. Model mama. <laughs> <laughs> you got the reference. Um, right? Now, so here's the thing. There's... There's really no typical day on set. I have held diapers and I've been adorned in diamonds and everything in between. I pick up burgers, I set down drinks. I, yep, wow. that is a wow. $20 million dollar diamond. Wow. And I, you know, my hands are on celebrities' faces, picking up pizza, picking up burgers, setting down things. So I guess really the only typical thing about hand modeling is there is no typical. Wow. So that's your fingers on someone else's face? Yes, I am behind them, wow. crouched with my hand coming up, oh. resting on their face, and I'm trying to get the rest of me out of the frame. Yep. Interesting. Wow. That is so interesting. So, now, you've uh, modeled as celebrities' hands before. Can you tell us more about the recent ad you did with Alicia Silverstone? Tell us about that. Well, yes, the Rakuten ad that I did with Alicia Silverstone. So. That one was really kind of special to me because it was so cool. It was a throwback to Clueless. Oh yeah, I remember this ad. Yes, and then that is one of like my favorite ads. So we got to go to Cher's house, to the school, there's my hand, to all the um, places that she was in the actual movie. And the really cool thing was the cinematographer was Bill Pope, who was the actual cinematographer for Clueless. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, Amy, what they would do, what you just saw, is she would come in, do her take, and then she would go start getting ready for the next setup, and they would bring me in, put her shirt on my my arm, so the sleeve in, the camera would be right here, my head would be bent out all over frame, and I would be from her perspective of raising the hand up with the phone and punching Whoa. in on the button. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. I like that. Oh, I, I, you know, as you were talking, I was looking at the other hosts, and we're all just staring. And we, you can tell. I honestly we like, like how the sausage is made. You know? yeah, I, like I really would love Who's to imagine? see like yeah. a one woman show or a TED talk about your life. You've lived such an interesting <laughs> life. Like seriously. Like what did she's done? Everything. That's I'm, amazing. Anyway, uh, well, I'm sure a lot of people are looking at this, saying, "How do I get into this?" So, do you have any tips or tricks for somebody trying to break into the hand modeling industry? 
Well, first of all, they're going to just naturally have to have nice looking hands. That's just you know, know one of the requirements, <laughs> right? But now what most people don't realize, because they're like, oh, well, I've got pretty hands. I can be a hand model. There's so much skill involved. Like you have to be able to hit the precise marks over and over and over again. And if you're a 16th of an inch off from your mark, you're out of frame. So when I was raising that phone up in that uh, the Rakuten commercial, I had to always raise my hand up and hit in the exact same mark or it would be out of focus. Wow. So people really need to know like, are their hands steady? Because a lot of people's hands right. shake a little bit, but they, you've got to have dead steady hands and hit that mark over and over. So here's my little trick. This is what I did when I started. I got a full length mirror. I sat in front of it and I practiced pouring with my right hand, my left hand, picking things up with my right hand and my left hand. Because you never know which hand they're going to want to use based on how the set is built. So you have to kind of be ambidextrous. Yeah. To yeah, I wow. yeah. all of it. Ironically, that's what Tori does before the show. She's pouring <laughs> and drinking and pouring and she It's an issue. It's a <laughs> so interesting. Ashley, thank you so so much for giving us behind the scene look into the hand modeling world. DBL Nation, you can find out more about Ashley just by following her on Instagram at Hand Model USA. Thank you so much, Ashley. We'll be right back. That was really thank interesting. You. That was thank fascinating. You. Thank you so much.